Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode for Lamborghini here today for the penultimate round of the season here in Brazil where we have our final sprint race as well. Here is the grid for the sprint. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Brown lines up on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Sainz, Bottas, Gasly, Hamilton, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Perez, Russell, Joe, Liam Lawson, Albert, De Vries, Fittipaldi, Stroll, Sargent, and the reserve driver rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So we're here on the grid then for the sprint and it's the soft tyres we shall be using. The qualifying mode session before this, it was wet and very wet indeed. And we set a lap time a second clear of those behind. What can we do here in Brazil? George is further back and it's lights out and away we go. We've got a bit of a shotgun. Valtteri Bottas moves up into P2. Good start from him. Leclerc tries to hold around the outside. But we lead the sprint race then here in Brazil from Valtteri Bottas in his Alfa Romeo. He's getting closer to the back of the slope. He's moving it down, it's straight. He's getting closer, we're just too far back to deal with that as we go into the tricky section of the track, the infield section of the track. Further back, this was George Russell's start. Absolute shocker of the start. He's been swamped. And if we're going to be at the front, he needs some points in this race. He's going to be with the Alpha Tauri side by side through that corner. He does get the positions, but he's lost so many of the start. And just went absolutely nowhere. Just thinking this event is stalled as there he is with the Williams going around the outside of turn four into turn five as well. The Williams isn't giving up, but eventually it looks like he has to and George just find a way through but back to our race then we were pulling away from Valtteri Bottas as Charles Leclerc now is battling away with Bottas trying to find a way through and back past the Alfa Romeo because both Ferraris didn't get a particularly good start you can see the gap that we've pulled in just a couple of laps and they're four wide nearly and what I'm going to the inside of both of them Leclerc's tried to gain a position and he's ended up losing one. Hamilton passed both Bottas and Leclerc. Further back though, this is Fittipaldi's Honda engine going bang in the back of that Alfa Tauri and it's all gone wrong and he is out of his home Grand Prix sprint race. Here is Bottas, here is Leclerc though, trying again on Bottas. This time to the outside. He's actually got the job done somewhere. This is science going wheel to wheel, in fact, with, with Bottas. They're still side by side round turn five. And Gasly and Alonso are now in on the act as well. But science is past Bottas. And I think it's a bit what he would have expected. Good start, but going backwards now, everyone's up to speed. And this is a bit of deja vu, the final lap. This time last season we were battling for the sprint win in a much worse a car then and again as Hamilton we pulled out the gap to Lewis Hamilton and we are going to win the Brazil sprint race getting there we needed that eight points and in terms of the result then George not scoring a single point all the way down in 14th. He's got a very long Sunday. So the gap in the championship now then eight points. We were level coming into this weekend, of course, after Mexico. Down at the back, you can see here Barnes not having a good one. Only finishing ahead of those that have DNF'd. This is it though, the championship. Eight points between us and George. If we win this Grand Prix, we will be 
2024 World Champions and George has to finish at least third to keep it alive. Let's go to the race. His third championship here in 2012 and in 2016, Max Verstappen treated us all to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. We're racing then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, 9 to the left and 6 to the right, with a technical middle section opening up to a flat out sector 3 that give us our best passing opportunity down into turn 1. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Brown lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Bottas, Norris, Magnussen, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Russell, Albon, Stroll, Sergeant Liam Lawson, De Vries, and the reserve driver rounds off the grid. Joe and Enzo Fittipaldi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So here on the grid then, soft to medium, and in 36 laps time, we may be touching glory. George, all the way down in 14th then, we're on pole, we just need to do what we did in the sprint, just a lot more laps in the meantime, and let's see what happens then, as the five red lights come on then for the Grand Prix, we're racing here in Brazil for the Grand Prix, we haven't got a, the best of starts once again, just like we did in the sprint. Neither has Lewis Hamilton as he recovered off. He's been swamped by Charles Leclerc and the other Ferrari nearly as well. Hamilton could have really done with a good start to help out his teammate battling us. Leclerc though all over the back of us. He's still wheel to wheel with Sainz so down into turn four and Hamilton looks like he may have just stayed ahead of Sainz. No, Sainz has got the position as Leclerc is all over the back of us as we head into the tight part of the track. But most importantly, we still lead the Grand Prix. Coming though towards the end of lap one, here comes Leclerc, gets an excellent run on us, going up down into turn one, into the center S's. We go, we squeeze him a little bit, Leclerc has to back out, we stay in P1. And now can we get away? This is George further back. Going, not having the best of starts again from 14th. And battling still for 14th. As he stays ahead, he needs to clear these in front. As this is Piastri who is kind of following a bit in the early stages of this race. Piastri passed. And then Albon, George needs to get this done quickly as well. He's on the outside going into turn four. Albon is going to fight it with everything he's got. George though keeps it pinned round the outside. And just like he did to a Williams in the sprint, round the outside. Now this is Piastri going wheel to wheel with Kevin Magnussen. Piastri's through. Now George needs to find a way through. Lap 11. Magnussen's coming back at him though. Into turn one. Side by side they go. George needs to find a way through for the sake of the championship. Lap 11. He's running out of time. Round the outside goes. Goes George there on Magnussen. Piastri's finally through. And now... He's still behind in terms of our race. We were just pulling away from Leclerc, but it's a mistake by Magnussen into turn four. George says thank you very much because Magnussen was making that very difficult. Our race, lap 15 then. We've built a healthy gap just under three seconds to Leclerc. We were just managing the gap. We were so quick. This is the most comfortable I felt in the car since we won all the way back in Spa, which was our last win, would you believe, into the pits now to make our one and only stop of the day at the end of lap 15. And now we're going to trundle down at the pits lane. 
into our grid box as we time it to green. And now on will go the mediums to get us to the end of the Grand Prix. Now can we come out in a bit of space? Hurry on pulling the gap out behind to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc who's also followed us into the pits. Carlos Sainz has stayed out as we come out in some lovely clean air. This is Sainz now boxing onto the mediums and where will we come out relative to Sainz? We beat him out by a country mile then. We're going through turn one. But now it's neck and neck between the two Ferraris. Leclerc's beat him out and Sainz has actually lost out to Fernando Alonso. But lap 17, George going longer. And we are a full pit stop ahead of our championship rival. George seeing that Lamborghini in his mirrors. His heart must have sank massively as we stay out, go back into the lead in in a couple of laps time George now onto the hards what is Mercedes doing maybe they're hoping they could have gone for a lot further in, on the mediums but clearly George not liking those mediums he's come out behind Piastri he's only just beat out Magnussen but he's all the way down in 15th then with just a, not that many laps to go we've just gone over half distance in the Grand Prix this is Alonso going wheel to wheel with Charles Leclerc. He's looking to try and make this then four wins in a row this season. Into turn four, he gets the job done and now he's hunting down after us. Into turn one now, this is Valtteri Bottas and he's pulling off and out of the Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas, who was second in the sprint, now finds himself on the sidelines and he retires from the Grand Prix. Piastri and George going wheel to wheel into turn one. This has been a move that is long overdue for George and he's got the job done and he moves up past Piastri. Lap 25, we've just been doing what we need to do. We've pulled away from Alonso and those behind. We're just managing the pace once again on the mediums. This car handling like an absolute dream this weekend as now this is lap 34 and we've caught Aaron Barnes we're about to lap our teammate then something I was not expecting when we had Sonoda at the start of the season but it's something that is about to happen Aaron Barnes we've lapped him and now we can just get on Maybe he could stick with us, you know, he's, we haven't actually seen, this is the first time I've actually seen him in a race and it's when we've lapped him. So, one more race left for him, but lap 36 of 36, we've just got one more lap. We've done everything we needed to do and we can just reminisce on this final lap. George is all the way down in 12. He needs a miracle now. He needs everyone to really realistically DNF on this final lap. The car, the tyres handling up beautifully. The engine may be a bit worn but it's got us to the end of the Grand Prix through the middle sector but when you think back to this season, the very start when we had that battle with George in Bahrain the disappointment when we got taken out by Sonoda in Australia, the fight back in Monaco, Spain we had a great battle, Canada we had a good battle as well with George, Silverstone we also had a good battle but ultimately Qatar and also but we're going to cross the line to be champions of the world in 2024. And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close and a new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony 
Davidson. A resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. So we have done it, the battles, the back and forth, the punches we've been taking out of each other for 15 races, we finally sealed it, we are world champions for the first time, George finishing in 12th, didn't look to have the pace, Bottas retiring, I feel a bit sorry for Bottas because you know, he was doing all right in the sprint p2 and then he's just gone backwards and aaron barnes last again but here is the world championship then 34 points we've got maximum points this weekend the sprint helping us out but i don't care we are world champions for the first time destructors then that will carry on to the final round in las vegas next time out mercedes poor result with one car at least meant that we close a couple more points to the Mercedes but ultimately they've had it wrapped up for some time but I hope you've enjoyed the championship battle this season we have one more to go the gloves are now off and as that famous song once said we are champions of the world